currently 10 day wear. I've heard rumors that that could one day grow. Do we're we're, we're, we're going to go to 15. It's not going to be 10 right now, but we will go to 15 days over time. Hey, I'm Justin and welcome to Diabetech. I had the incredible opportunity of interviewing the CEO of Dexcom. I asked him about the Dexcom G7 and the future of CGM technology. Dexcom paid for travel expenses out to San Diego, but all these questions are my own and they are yours. I put out some feelers on Instagram and you guys sent over so many questions. I tried to throw in as many as I could. So here it is. We are all very excited to talk Dexcom G7 and I also have a couple questions about kind of the future of where CGMs go because I'm sure. kind of interested in that too. All right, so fire let's, away. Okay, cool. So let's start with something that I think is pretty incredible with this thing, which is a 30 minute warm up. That is 75% shorter than the G6. What went into that? How did you get it down so low? We spent a lot of time testing uh, and, and running through various features. Sensor performance is derived from the sensor signal, but also the algorithm that interprets the data. So science went into both the sensor design and the algorithm that turns it into the glucose value to make it accurate that quickly for the warm up. And I will give a little spoiler, while it is 30 minutes, when you put it on, the minute you deploy it, the clock, it start, starts ticking. So when the app starts up, you think it's going to say 30 minutes, and oftentimes it's like 24 or 26. It's pretty cool. And the warm-up is, it is fast. It is a great feature. And so for, for the record, is it possible to have one G7 on, put on a new one, and then let the old one kind of do its thing, and then the new one will kind of just be ready after 30 minutes? Can you layer them? Uh, that is my understanding, but you need to talk to somebody more technical than me on that one. I haven't tried that yet. Okay, well, I will be trying it you, you out ask, very you, soon. You can ask somebody <laughs> that question. Okay, well, tell me about the, alert, the, the new alert features on Dexcom G7. You know, very similar to the old ones. Uh, I, I just think they're more, I, I think they'll be more precise and more accurate. Over time, we have a feature in Europe that is kind of the anti-alert that will come back to the States. Our users asked us to give them the, uh, the ability to shut them all off for a while. And we did, we launched it in Europe that way. And for people who would use CGM, that was the number one feature that they loved. But when we came to the States and went through the FDA process, the FDA wasn't really comfortable with that. We rewrote the app, we wrote the software, we took it out we got to the point of getting it approved and the FDA came back to us and said, you probably ought to put that back in. Well, we're not ready for that yet. We will put that one back in. Um, you've still got your predictive low alert that works very well and, and the others. And I think over time we'll add more and more sophistication to it. But for now it's very similar alerts to what we've had before. I just think it'll be more precise because it's more accurate. Is there a timeline at all that you can provide for the snoozing of high alerts? No, I, I don't have a timeline for okay. when the alerts are going to change. Um, but but uh, it, it's interesting. Uh, we're experimenting with sensors in my house. My wife is wearing one for the first time because I wanted somebody who'd never worn a sensor to have the experience. And her alerts went off this morning. And, and I said... We're sleeping. Can you please turn your... And it's not she's low or high. She was having... She, It, it, it just went off. And I go, oh. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. I was actually there this morning okay. <laughs> at 2 a.m. Um, okay, now let's talk Apple Watch. I know Dexcom announced or said a little while back now that there would one day be a time there where be. Dexcom could connect to a so watch. So we, we will connect directly to Apple Watch, not at launch. It will connect to the Apple Watch the same way it does now. This device is configured electronically to talk to three things at the same time, not just two. And if you think about the Bluetooth devices that you own, how many can pair with three things at the same time? None. But this, this will. It will pair with a watch, a receiver, and a phone, or a watch, a pump, and a, and a phone. Three different things uh, at the same time. We haven't got direct to watch in the first iteration of the software, but it will be coming in the not too distant future. Yes. Very excited and I am ready. I got a lot of questions from people about the design of the G7. Can you tell me first, what was the thinking behind the new material and shape of it? Yeah, we spent a lot of time uh, looking at the shape and the material. I I'm, I'm gonna get it out here. Yes. 
The, this is the first time I'm seeing a real G7 this is a real one. Uh, the, in the, person. You can see the box is much smaller. I'm not good at opening boxes. I'm a disaster on Christmas and everything, so <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to live with that. One thing you'll note, there's an overlay in every box. So we just, here's an overlay. Uh, it comes in this, this is the sterile barrier. To put it on, you simply unscrew that, push it against your arm, hit the button, and you're done. Uh, the materials that went into this, obviously, m much, much less plastic than we had before. Big reduction in plastic, and the size of the on-body component is 60% smaller than G6. We designed this product from the very beginning to be manufacturable in a mass scale. So, you know, G5, if you went to our lines back in the day, everything was put together by workers on manual lines. G6 was originally designed that way. We designed automation equipment to replicate what we did on the manual lines. With this product, we designed automation equipment. We have to make product that we can build uh, in an automated manner. And we have contract suppliers that do some of this. So for example, the on-body component, this plastic here, this is one molded part. It's not a glued part, it's a molded part. And that's important to keep moisture out and other things from getting in there. And then there's membranes and things on the inside to seal off the hole and everything like that. All this went into engineering. You know, the battery's smaller because it only has to last for the 10 day or ultimately 15 days, not 15 days now, but later in the future. And the chip sets and everything are different than what we had before in G6. So thought went into all of this uh, as we built it. And, and I've said many times, pretty much everything is different. Uh, the center goes in straight, the center is much shorter. Uh, people will have a great experience with that as well. So we're, we're really excited about it. We, we're going to spend close to a billion dollars over three years building factories and manufacturing lines to build this product. Yeah, and I've got to say, just from seeing it right now, like I am very impressed with the small amount of packaging, like getting rid of the plastic that would hold the applicator. Yeah. This box is way smaller. Like one thing That's that I've right. always said is when you order uh, these types of uh, tech from like product, uh, the companies that send them, oh, they're you get these huge, but you get these, well, no, what but you're you doing get, is great, yeah, but, but these you get places send you these huge boxes yeah. with like three of these in it. I'm like, can we reduce like the amount, you know? So I'm uh, thank you for making this like, you know, a priority because yep. it's super important. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, and then, okay, so let's get, I got this, this question came up a lot, which is the adhesive. I know that it is a different adhesive on the G7 than the G6. Can you tell me a little bit about that change? What went into that? We put a lot of time and effort into studying the adhesive. It is stickier uh, than the G6 is. Uh, although we recently revised G6 to a stickier tape and, and we've had that sticking better. Adhesive is one of the most interesting issues we face. If I get in a room of Dexcom users, a thousand of them, pick a big number. How many of you find the adhesive works great? The majority of hands go up. How many of you would want it to be more sticky? Other hands go up. How many want it to be less sticky? Other hands go up. How many of you want it hypoallergenic? You have another set of hands. It's really hard to define the perfect adhesive this is one of the adhesives that we tested extensively and we really like. We continue to test adhesives. That's why we put the overpatch in as well. The, whoops, sorry, the overpatch is, is small. that goes around it, but it's here in the packaging. And you can put that on if you need it uh, to stick better. It will vary, and a lot of adhesive, quite candidly, varies person to person on their physiology. Some tapes stick very well. That's one of the studies I participate in at the company. So literally we'll take four or five patches and say, will you all wear these patches so we can see which one's the best? And so I'll walk around the house with patches all over my arms and my back just to see uh, how they work. And yes, my family makes fun of me when I, <laughs> when I do that. But we take it seriously uh, and we'll continue to monitor how it performs and continue to look for, for better ones. Uh, we, we're never going to stop on the adhesive side. But it really is impossible to offer five or six adhesives because what do you put in the drugstore? So we have to find the answer that meets the majority of people's needs. That's why we have the overpatch in there as well. Great. And so when someone switches from the G6 to the G7, is that data stored in like the cloud? And it, do they have yeah, that? It's still in the cloud. Okay. It's still part. If, you, if you're in Clarity and you have 
the clarity system, everything, you'll switch right over, your can will switch over. It's a really seamless process. Okay, I got this question a lot. I think I know what you're gonna say. T-Slim came out and they said that three to six months from your FDA clearance announcement, they will support it in their closed loop system. Insulate, Omnipod, we haven't heard anything. Do you have anything to tell us on a timeline? Will it be this year at least? I think it'll, I, I, they'll have to speak to their timeline. I think it's more, it looks to me, as I look at it, more like first of the year. I can tell you they're working really hard to integrate. So please, uh, anybody who sees this, don't think for one second Tandem and Insulin aren't working very hard to integrate with G7. They are. I think we need to remember from a perspective basis, Omnipod 5's not been out that long. Uh, and they're working with and through that, and that, that product is designed, is very sophisticated. It's an excellent design. That transmitter talks to the pod on your body, and so they've got to make sure that receives a signal, and our communication protocols are different. Our cybersecurity is different. Again, everything about this is different. This requires a big engineering uh, effort on their part because it's got to go on every single device, whereas with T-Slim, you can upgrade the software on the pump and there will be a process literally where when they're ready, you'll be able to plug your T-SIM into your computer, upgrade your software, and you'll be in great shape. Great. And are there any plans to, or rather, do you will Dexcom continue to support or rather allow DIY and other people out there who are kind of using Dexcom APIs and accounts to kind of do their thing? Certainly Dexcom APIs are authorized relationships for us. Uh, the DIY world uh, is, is an interesting uh, dilemma. It's an interesting space. These are people who use Dexcom centers and, and have good experiences that they want. For now, uh, we're continuing status quo. We'll see where the FDA goes and where this goes over time. There are wonderful options now with Insulet and Tandem out there. Uh, and the tide pull algorithm was just approved that will soon be another option if they if they're working with the pump I think we're gonna have plenty of options that are regulated and approved Let's just see where that goes over time great Currently 10-day wear I've heard rumors that that could one day grow Do you we're, have anything we're, to say we're gonna go to 15 It's not gonna be 10 right now, but we will go to 15 days over time that will require in all fairness, changes to the adhesive and changes to the uh, sensor and algorithm. We're going to have to change a little bit of the sensor chemistry and then write the algorithm for those changes. But we're working very, very hard on that right now. We know people would rather only use two sensors a month. At the same time, Dexcom has a level of reliability and consistency that no one else has. And the reliability and consistency was more important to us than the economic outcome of using two sensors a month versus three. We did not want to create an experience that would disappoint our users to come out with this product and then have everybody say this didn't last long enough. Uh, it doesn't work for us, even though, you know, fairness, a lot of customers would be able to use this for 15 days in its current state. We're not going to deviate from this experience we have. We need it to be a great experience for people. It, it, there will be a 15 day product sometime. Uh, in, in all fairness, where it gets interesting is, is young people in pediatrics. They have much more variability than adults. It'll be interesting to see how the 15-day solution works there because physiology is different in people, in kids, and in, in everybody. And, and we, we are going to make sure we always offer solutions that meet people's needs and are safe and meet their expectations on the reliability front. Great. Now, c correct me if I'm wrong. Currently, the only FDA-cleared position for the G7 is on the back side of the arm. Is that for everyone? That's correct. Are there any plans to get FDA clearance for other areas on the body in the future? So in Europe, the product is labeled for wear on the abdomen and on the arm as well. With respect to FDA rules and regulations for ICGM, the data on the arm, in all fairness, was it met those standards very strongly, and that's what we filed with. Uh, that's where the clearance is. We'll leave that to patients to use where they where they use it. Uh, I've been wearing sensors on the arm for a long time, even G6s, and uh, I find that for me is the best place to wear them. I don't think people will be disappointed with arm wear here. Yeah. And now we are all very excited about the G7, but we're also already thinking about the G8. <laughs> Do you have anything to tell us about just what you see or what you hope to see 
in the CGM space in the future? You know, for us going forward, uh, as we look at, at new products, certainly getting to 15 days, never giving up our reliability. And, and even though the accuracy level is very good, we'd always like to eke out more because we want to lead there. What do people want? They, they always want a smaller form factor, even though this form factor is smaller. Um, we'll look at that, but at the same time, we won't sacrifice connectivity, flexibility. Uh, to connect with other devices, and you need uh, you need some space to do that for the battery and the antenna and everything to fun function properly. We'll look at less materials. Uh, you know, the material reduction here is huge, and if we can reduce more materials and make this better for the environment, we will do so. I think you'll you'll see a lot. This platform gives us the ability to do a lot of things. I also think we're going to be much more active from a software perspective going forward and upgrading the app more frequently. Uh, we rewrote the software as well. It's now one software platform for all geographies. So when we implement a feature, we're going to implement it everywhere. Right now with G6, remember, we were pretty new at this when we started. Uh, there's, there's, there's a whole bunch of different G6 apps, so we'll fix you know, we'll make a change to the US app and then team will do the UK app and then we'll do the French app and whatever. That's gonna change with, with G7. Uh, we're gonna have one app platform and we'll be able to upgrade much faster. One feature in the app in the US, for example, we have Spanish in the US. You can do English or Spanish now with the G7 app. Uh, that really opens this up to a lot more people. Great. And I've heard from people who have the G7 app already that there is currently no widget for iOS. There was for G6. It will, will come. Okay. Okay. It will come. Okay. And so there have been reports in the past of a possible eventual technology that is non-invasive CGM tech. Is Dexcom looking at that? We look at all those technologies. Uh, we're not naive enough to believe that other people couldn't do something remarkable. And we hope that they do. We have not seen anything that compares to what we do as far as measuring glucose accurately and consistently and delivering what the people who use our product demand. Uh, if at some point in time there's technology like that, that would be great. I haven't seen one yet. And uh, we talk to these people, we look at it, but we're very comfortable with where we are. Great, and I got this question a lot too, which, which is like, when and how can we get this? So I know it's in so the US. Let me walk you through yeah, that. Yeah, walk me through that and then where they can find out as well. So it, our website's a good place to go. Uh, we have a lot of G7 information on the website, uh, particularly with the Magic Campaign uh, and the Super Bowl ad. So if you go there, you can you can get figure out a good way to get access to it. We are working very rapidly with the insurance companies to cover this product. In the meantime, we have what we call a bridging program where you could go pay cash for it at a pharmacy. That program really, we just started shipping into the channel early this week, late last week. So now product is getting into the channel and people will be able to go into the drugstore and get it. It'll take a little time for it to, to fill up. And I'll give you an example. We have a lot of Medicare patients. CMS approved G7 in less in like 61 days, which is a very quick time period. So now that G7 is approved for Medicare users, we're putting product in the hands of the Medicare distributors. So. Uh, our customers can have access to it there as well. Uh, we'll roll it out uh, as quick as we can, but for those where we don't have coverage and you, and you can't get it, we have this bridging program where you can go pay cash and give it a try. Great, awesome, Kevin. That is all I have for you. I appreciate it so much. I, hey. this, was, this was incredible. It's so great to meet you. And you heard it. Go over to Dexcom's website if you want to see the availability for you. And uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you very much. This is a, a very exciting time for us. This uh, product is a culmination of a lot of years of work. It's the simplest to use thing we've ever seen. A lot of the feedback we got after the ad for, internally was, it can't be that easy. It is, it is that easy and we're gonna get access. We have the same standard we've always had on the accuracy side. I think you're all gonna love it. Great. I mean, I love my G6, so I'm, I'm ready to put this one on. I've had a few people <laughs> say that to me. Do I really want to switch? Trust me, you do.
I want to switch. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do it. I hope you enjoyed the interview and learned something new. I am so excited to be wearing the G7 and I will be putting out a lot of content on that as well as more interviews and other diabetes and diabetes tech related stuff on this channel. So make sure you subscribe, give it a like if you enjoyed it and click that bell if you want alerts when I put out new videos. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.